Hi, my name is Danny Marty, and I'm a 3D artist and a game developer. In this tutorial, I want to show you a quick way to add any clothing you want to a metahuman or actually to any other character. For this tutorial, we are going to be using the Chaos Cloth Asset, but it's not about uh, simulating physics, it's about the uh, skin weight transferring. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, we are going to need a couple of plugins. Uh, let's go to Edit plugins and we are going to go to let's type chaos and we are going to be enabling uh, chaos cloth asset and chaos cloth asset editor and then we are going to restart the, the engine so when we are back uh, here it's my uh, metahuman and i have a couple of uh, uh, animations that i um, retargeted just to show different movements I have my outfit, as you can see it's a static mesh, uh, some materials, and I have here some masks that I'm going to be showing you later on as uh, some ways to fix some issues that we can encounter. So let's give, uh, as a starter, let me give Hudson uh, an animation, so animation asset and walk. Then let's go here in the content browser and I'm gonna go to physics and I'm gonna create a cloth asset. I'm gonna rename it uh, outfit and double click. And uh, yeah, this was designed to simulate uh, physics on clothing, but uh, we are not gonna be using that today. We are just gonna use a little tool that it's inside the graph to automatically rig our cloth uh, to any character, in this case, a metahuman. So what we want, what, uh, we want to do is come here, and I'm gonna disconnect this part, and let me, let's me let add uh, the skeleton, or yeah, the skeleton maze that we want to use as preview, so it's the metahuman. And let's give the animation. This is just for um, preview, but it helps to see how the clothes the form. Okay, so here we are gonna click and let's uh, we are gonna look for static mesh import and let's let's uh, connect it and then we are gonna have some errors here, but that's fine. Uh, we just need to select now our static mesh and my static mesh is this one. It's gonna take a little second to do to evaluate and do the, the whole thing. And then in transfer skin weights, we want to select our metahuman body. It's gonna take another second and that's it. It's, uh, as you can see, now it's perfectly working and it took us like a minute to do. So now we can come here to our um, blueprint and instead of adding a skeletal mesh like we were doing before with any other kind of cloning, uh, we, uh, select, we are gonna select the body and say chaos. We are gonna uh, add the chaos cloth component and then here on the detail panel, we are gonna look for our cloth asset and that's our outfit. Select it. Um, what I can do is because my character has some shoes, I could come here to the feet and delete it or I can just like uh, hide it. And that's it. We have our metahuman with custom clothes. So this is the first part of this tutorial where everything worked kind of very fast, but uh, probably that's not gonna be the case in most the scenarios. Uh, I want to discuss probably like three main issues that we can encounter. One, it's uh, a mismatching pose between the static mesh and our character. The second issue can be uh, overlapping meshes. 
So uh, we are actually having these issues here. So you can see here the feet, it's overlapping our sneakers. And another issue that you can encounter, it's a really um, dense mesh or a mesh with a lot of geometry, which can cause performance issues. So in the next video, I will explain the solution for these three issues. Uh, I hope you like this short tutorial and if you have any questions or problems just leave a comment below and yeah, uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye!